kind of got a new dilemma. I just came out here to, to crank it up since I haven't had time to mess with it at all. The situation is, I can simply push this button. I can simply push this button. It goes green. I walk around here and simply crank it up. It didn't do this before. Then you can go back out here and turn this off. It shouldn't do that. It should keep running. So I have something wired wrong. I went back because I had a few extra dangly wires. This thing ran great before I <laughs> rehooked all the wires. I mean, it ran great before I, uh, remember when it was running great? Y'all remember? And then I came back and I had one extra dangly wire right there. And I put it from here to there, which is where it went on the old one. So the question is, if I do this, and I did this with a, uh, a little wombat screw intentionally. One, because it was the only thing that would fit. And two, because... It was the only screw that I had that would fit. Oh, and I dropped the washer. So if I take that back off, just lay that right there. Now let's see if I crank it. And, and it stays running when I turn that off. Ooh. Okay, that one is. I can put that wire back on. The only other wire I hooked up, if I'm not mistaken, was I hooked the temperature wire up. That shouldn't have anything to do with anything. I haven't changed the starter wires. I haven't changed any other wires. And I have still yet to find a hose that doesn't kink. No, I've taken the old one in and everything. So I haven't got back on the clutch yet because I haven't had time to get under there and see if I actually did put it in backwards. Some people said I did, others said I didn't. The problem is when we mated the bell housing up to the back of the engine, the inspection plate got pinched and it's jammed in one spot. So it needs to be loosened up and, well, it's simply loosened up and I can slide it out. But why doesn't it stay running now? My old 60 Chevrolet truck I had in high school, you could take everything off of it almost. And as long as it had the little generator, which could be the problem, you didn't have to have a battery or anything. Once it was running, it was like a tractor. It would just run. So the question is, what have I done differently? Where have I erred? So I'm going to hook this back up. This may simply be a ground for that, since it just goes to that. So this is going to be a short video, but I'm going to go ahead and put it out, because I would like an answer to that, if you don't mind. Thanks for watching this little bitty video. You know, while we're here... I bent the inspection, I got to look at it. I bent the inspection plate back and I want to show you what it looks like. Because some people told me I could inspect it from underneath. Here. There it is. Okay, hold on. Okay, look in there. Can you tell me anything? Let me get my light hung up. One second. Well, I can't do that. It doesn't really do much. I can't tell. I don't know what it's supposed to look like or not. You see any issues in there? I thought you said you could move this inspection plate and look at the clutch. So do I have it in backwards? I really want to know. You can see the inspection plate got kinked right here. So that's why I can't move it anymore. 
the last one didn't have one on it. Maybe that's why, because it gets keyed with that drive shaft right there, or that forward drive shaft. You know what, I, and there's my clutch thing we talked about. I need to back it off more because it is still tight. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Let me know your expertise, please.